You, how do you see that fight playing out between Kell Brook and Errol Spence? Are you, are you, you're going to go over there, right? Yeah, yeah. As a, just as a fan, though, just no, as. No, no, I'm going I'm to go over there and support Errol. Errol's one of my guys. Right. You know, I'm mm -hmm. going to support Errol, and uh, him and I have traveled all over the world together, and I want to see him be successful. If us coming over, just a couple more Americans or someone that he's known for a long time. I know his parents. Mm -hmm. I know his mom. Mm -hmm. I know his dad. Good, great people. If, if us coming over, it helps him, gives him a little more motivation. So be it. I want to see it. I want to yell for him, scream for him, and, 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 and see him be successful. Yeah. Um, uh, I know it's going to be hard work, um, but he's prepared for that. Yeah. Yeah. You work closely with Errol, and obviously you guys were in the ring with Kel Brook. Is there anything special about Kel that Errol's got to be wary of, other than holding? <laughs> I mean, that is that is a strategy that I expect Kel to use to try to slow Errol down. Mm. I'd be shocked if he didn't do it. Um, I think he's a little more seasoned since he fought us, so he may not do it as much. Mm -hmm. But he may do it, you know, more than enough to try to slow Arrow down. So mm -hmm. he should be aware of that. Mm -hmm. do, do, do you think that it's going to be a tougher than expected fight for Errol, or do you think that they're aware oh, I, of? No, he's expecting a tough fight. It's okay. a tough fight. It's not an easy fight by no means. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy fight. It's, it's, it's a you know it's a hard fight, mm -hmm. and you go into the other guy's country. Mm -hmm. So um, he knows what he's up against. He's been to other countries. And he's done it quite a few times, and he's been successful. So yeah. he's looking for that to happen now. You know, the one interesting thing I was talking to Sean about was we were talking about the holding. Sean actually blamed himself for the amount of holding that Kel was doing. Um, do, do you feel like it was Sean's fault or do you feel like it was more on the ref to take care of that? Well, look at it this way. Sean takes responsibility for it so he doesn't have to say it was somebody else's mm. fault. Mm -hmm. You got clinching, you got holding, you got fouls. Mm -hmm. Too much clinching becomes a hold. Too mm -hmm. many holds become a foul. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a warning, it's supposed to be a, take, a point taken away. That's yeah. the way it is. Mm -hmm. Again, we have no national governing body. So nobody came in after the fact and said, okay, that was wrong, we're done with this referee, or that was wrong, your boxing commission has to be put on notice in this situation and somebody's being fined, or that was wrong, whatever it may be. Yeah. They yeah. didn't do it. It's just the way it is. Um, I identified it after the first round. Three mm -hmm. minutes into the fight, I came to Sean. Sean came to the corner and I said, listen, you got to put your combination together and get around this guy so he doesn't hold you. Mm -hmm. He knew that. I told him that. He didn't focus in on what I asked him to focus in on. Mm -hmm. He was looking for a knockout, swinging mm -hmm. for the fences. Mm -hmm. And he got tied up a lot. So he knew that. And yeah. so therefore... Um, him saying that is a way for him to, you know, try to, you know, take responsibility of it. But, you know, the yeah. truth of the matter is, you know, there's rules, there's regulations, but who was playing, who was applying those rules and regulations that mm -hmm. night? Who was standing by that? They were not. Mm -hmm. They were not standing by that. And if you go back and look at the referee, he never refed again. He retired after the fight. Crazy. That's crazy. You didn't know that? I did not. Go look at it. Wow. Go look at the box rep. That seems very suspect. Ah! Hello! <laughs> uh.